Hey, booze. Hey. Y'all, this is take number two. Hopefully, hopefully this records. So, hey, booze. Hey. Happy Fun and Fridays. I am Regal Essence. I am Queen TV. I'm Queen TV at the dark. On your ray of sunshine in the afternoon time. I'm life is a love goddess. I'm life is a laid back mom. I'm your crystal healer and dealer. And I'm your past life princess. Hey, booze. Hey. So, y'all. I don't know what be going on up in here. Hold on a second. Let me see something. All right. I had to make sure that, that my Bluetooth was off. So, hey, y'all. So, hopefully this records. Of course, so, now this video is going to be way shorter than the first one. I don't know what's going on. My mic is acting. My phone my phone be acting crazy. Somebody probably put some hooju booju on it um, as a part of a shut up spell. But guess what? She ain't shutting up. So, hey, y'all. Hey. First of all, I just want to encourage my divine feminines. I just want you guys to keep on moving. Keep on healing. Keep on creating. Keep on finding your voice. Keep on tapping into your gifts whatever those may be whether you're a designer whether you're a rapper whether you're a teacher whether you're a crystal healer whatever it is any type of creative i want you to be tapping into your gifts okay so today we are talking about the hawthor energy and i want to talk to you guys about healing your mummy wound so that you can embody your hawthor energy and what exactly that looks like okay so Hawthor has to do with sensuality, sexuality, dance, joy, pleasure, intoxication. Yes, y'all, I said it. Intoxication. She's a solar deity. She's a warrior goddess in that she is protective over women. Um, she was protective in, in her reign and in her era. She was worshipped, right? Um, they said that she had the ability to um, change other people's will, regardless of whether they was a man, a beast, a god, whatever the case may be. She had the ability to be able to have an influence, so to speak. OK, so I want to talk to you guys about um, embracing, activating, awakening, um, initiating your Hawthor energy, right? She also is the god of fertility. She is the mother goddess. So she is known as the goddess that has the most mothering attributes. So I want to talk to you guys about healing your mommy wound so that you can truly, honestly embrace your Hawthor energy. Now me, y'all know how I be, I stumble into stuff and I giggled whenever I was saying all of my personas because I did not realize how much I was being initiated and activated with my heart or energy, maybe about, uh, I don't know, maybe like, maybe like about a year and a half ago, right? And by the time I started doing Queen TV After Dark, if you haven't checked out Queen TV After Dark, make sure you watch it. It's a whole playlist, right? So I didn't realize that when I started doing Queen TV After Dark, I was so so very much tapping into my Hawthor energy, right? Queen TV After Dark, we talked about sexuality and things that may have been considered taboo, right? Um, she is all about dance. She's the goddess of dance, creativity, things of that nature. Um, I danced, I sang, we talked about sex, sensuality, relationships, all of that kind of stuff. Nothing was taboo, right? Now, of course, you know me, I'm a lady. I am a lady to my core. So we kept it, we kept it cute, right? But we delved into certain things that may be considered taboo. She also is the goddess of the underworld, right? So Queen TV at the dark, you know what I mean? Like the underworld is dark, you know what I'm saying? So I did not realize how much I was getting initiated into my heart or energy. I would take pictures also to... Um, she has the ability to be able to banish, destroy demons, things of that nature. And when she stepped into her power, um, her eyes would change, right? So I didn't understand why I would have certain pictures where my eyes would change colors. Like I actually got pictures where I am like my eyes, like the pupils on my eyes, they have like this gold glow, right? Um, also too, I had some pictures that I took and she also represents like the symbols that represent her are the lion as well as the cow, right? Because cows represent um, cosmic activity, the cosmos, as well as fertility, right? 
um, nurturing, things that are nurturing, right? So I want you guys to tap into all of that. I want you to tap into your joy. I want you to tap into your pleasure. I want you to tap into your intoxication, whatever that looks like. And it doesn't have to be alcohol intoxication. It could just be the intoxication of just happiness, like joy, joy in life. You know what I'm saying? Um, I want you to tap into your nurturing side. I want you to tap into your fertility. I want you to tap into your mothering side. Um, did I say dance? I want y'all to tap into your dance energy or your creative energy. Okay. Joy. Of course, I want y'all to be joyful, joyful, right? And I want you to realize that like life is about pleasure, regardless of whether you feel like everything is going your way or you have everything that it is that you want in life. If you continue to do your work, tap into certain energies, start to align with certain goddess energies, the attributes. I'm not saying worship idols or anything of that nature. I'm not saying you got to worship new gods, but just realizing the importance of tapping into certain goddess energies and how it helps to push forth certain energies out of you and through you and you will start to see them in your life. And it's very, very important because... A lot of times the female archetype um, right now, like the very end thing are females that are operating from their shadow side or their unhealed side or their toxic side, right? And there is a group of females that we don't necessarily as divine feminists, we don't operate out of our shadow side, right? Because we've taken the time to be able to heal. So that I only do, I talk about tapping into your goddess energy. I'm always going to be talking about healing because your healing process is very, very important in order for you to be able to align, activate and ascend, right? Energetically. So, um, yeah, y'all. So I just, I just stepped all up into this and I didn't even actually realize that I was being activated. You know what I'm saying? But then whenever I started just looking more into her, she is somebody that I resonate with. As I began to look into her, I was just like, oh my God, right? She's also a solar deity and I'm your ray of sunshine in the afternoon time. You know what I'm saying? So what you're gonna realize is as you begin to continue to do your work, you're not always going to realize what it is that's going on. But if you continue to stay obedient to the unctions in your spirit, um, the, the thoughts, the downloads, um, the active, mm, it's not, I don't want to say activations, but just like the, your thoughts and your unctions, like certain things that you kind of step into as you go through your spiritual awakening, I'm going to encourage you to embrace all of that, right? Embrace all of it. And that's one of the things that I had to do whenever I got into my spiritual awakening. And I had to let go of my desire to please other people. I had to let go of my care or concern about how it is that people viewed me. But instead, I had to just step into the trueness of me, right? And I did that so easily because I was just like, yo, if God approved me, then why would I look for approval from my friends or my family members or anybody around me, right? If God approved me, I, I if he put the stamp of approval on it, then all I have to do is live as my true authentic self, right? So let's get into the mommy wound and why it's important for you to be able to heal your, why it's important to heal your mommy wound in order to be able to step into your true goddess energies, right? And different goddesses will embody different energies, right? And it's very important as we're going throughout this journey and as we step into spirituality, we realize that energy is very, very important. We enter, we realize that energy is fluid. We realize that energy is something that is all around us and it affects us, right? And at times, this journey is not easy. It's not easy for us to get through certain things, have to go through certain things, depending on what your journey looks like. You have been sent here um, and your soul has to work out certain things. You have to make certain decisions that 
basically there's certain things that you may not have done in a previous lifetime and in this lifetime you're here to learn that lesson this lifetime you're here to make a different decision right and that may be a little bit difficult right so tapping into certain energies will give us that oomph, right it will give us the power and the ability to step into and ascend right and when i say ascend i mean as I start to do things differently, energetically, I am ascending, right? I am ascending out of certain low vibrations and I'm tapping into a higher vibration, right? Because I'm making different choices. I'm feeling, I'm resonating and illuminating in different emotions, right? So say as whether, whereas maybe at one point in my life, um, you, and I hate to say my life, well, Say if, for instance, at some point in your life, you really struggle with depression, right? Um, you struggle with anxiety or worry or things of that nature, right? Those are That's a more low vibrational energy. But then as you begin to ascend and evolve and go through um, certain energetic upgrades, you will find that like, no, I resonate more with a level of gratitude and joy and peace and harmony. No matter what it is that I go through, this is, you know what I mean? Like this is, this is where I live. You know what I'm saying? Like it doesn't matter what comes with goals. I always seem to find myself in a state of harmony within and without, right? I find myself in a state of harmony. I find myself in a state of gratitude. I find myself in a state of joy, regardless to what it is that is going on, right? And that has to do with us being able to energetically upgrade. That has to do with us being able to raise our frequency so it's just like certain emotions although we feel them we go through them we process through them we don't live there we don't stay there we don't get stuck there right so mommy wound let's talk about it your mother is the foundation of who it is that you are your mother has a lot to do with how it is that you view yourself whether you feel as if you are enough if you struggle with feeling enough um, you may have dealt with a mother who did a lot of comparisons and things of that nature, right? So um, you may have also dealt with a mother that had very strict views on sensuality and how it should be played out, sexuality and how it should be played out, right? How it is that you should show up in the world, whether you should just be larger than life or you need to simmer down now tamper it down in order to be accepted and loved right your mother your mother has a lot to do with your feeling of acceptance okay um your feeling of stability whether it be inner stability or outer stability um she has a lot to do with um, obviously your self-esteem right um, she has a lot to do with your level of self-acceptance because if she did not accept herself if she tore herself down or or struggled with self-esteem or confidence issues and things of that nature oftentimes we will follow in those same patterns right so me personally my mom i didn't there were certain mom my mom did a very great job of raising me as i got older as an adult there were certain things in my relationship with my mother that I felt that I was lacking, right? So in order to be able to heal that mommy wound, we have to be able to fill in the gap, the gap between what I needed or what I wanted and what I actually got, right? And in between that gap is us healing our inner child, us being the mother to ourselves that we would have needed, right? And that looks like, Embracing my inner child, healing my inner child, being honest about how it is that I'm feeling, being honest about what it is that I am going through, accepting myself, right? Um, recognizing toxic traits, recognizing toxic patterns that I am perpetuating because it's what I've seen, it's what was modeled to me, right? Or conforming myself to certain images because I was taught that that was the way to be or that was the way to go but instead tapping into who is it that I am really you know what I'm saying like who is it that I am really and being able to embrace that and not be concerned about um 
being judged or being concerned about pleasing others over yourself, right? So those things are very important because if you tap into your goddess energy, your goddess energy is all about self-love, right? And we can't love ourselves if we don't accept ourselves, right? And oftentimes if we feel as if, you know, there's always something about me that I need to change or I need to do different or I need to be this way or I have to fit into this particular box and things of that nature. We're not truly embracing ourselves. Right. But when you release that need to. um Oh, shoot, y'all, my phone about to die. But when we release the need to conform to what others feel that we should be, say and do we start to step into our authenticity. When we have the ability to really look at our feelings and our emotions and process them without judgment, we step into self-acceptance, right? So as we go throughout our journey, those things are very, very important because another part of our goddess energy is tapping into your creative expression. How can you express yourself creatively if there's certain parts about you that you feel ashamed of if there's certain parts about you that you don't want to show the world because you're afraid of being judged right so the mommy wound healing the mommy wound or the mother wound is very very important a very very important part of really truly stepping into your goddess energy stepping into your goddess energy flowing into your goddess energy stepping into your true authentic self stepping into your true authentic self-expression you know what i'm saying stepping into who it is that you are sensually and sexually in a healthy way being able to view those two things very um, from a very healthy perspective, right? So the way I want you guys to start healing your mother wound is to step back and ask yourself what things about yourself are a product of your mothering, right? That are the, what parts of your shadow self, right? So your unhealed self, right? Um, the, the, the part of you that's not the healthiest, the part of you that doesn't operate um, at the healthiest, right? So for instance, what does that look like? What are my relationships? What do my relationships look like? Are my relationships healthy or am I in relationships where I am manipulating or I'm getting manipulated, right? How it is that I view myself? Do I view myself as if I need to change this or, or, or put myself in a box or do it this way? Or do I feel free enough to do it the way that I feel is best? Because the way that I feel is best is probably the way that I'm supposed to do it. And I, and I'm okay with that. You know what I'm saying? So removing ourselves from those certain um, levels of judgment, um, self-judgment or judgment from the outside is going to be very, very important part is going to be a very, very important part of stepping into your goddess energy and truly flowing in that energy. And the goddess energy is very, very important for this day and time because there's a healing aspect to the goddess energy. Um, the goddess energy of Hawthorne, she's very nurturing, right? She's all about fertility. So as you begin to heal your mother wound, you have the ability to tap into your true nurturing nature. You have the ability to be the mother that you wanna be to yourself as well as your children, if you have children, right? Um, it gives you that ability to be able to give back to your friendships, your community in a nurturing but healthy way. You're not over giving, right? You're not over giving, you're not under giving, right? You have that perfect balance, right? So um, let me see, is there anything else? I think that's all I got for y'all. That's all I got for y'all. So I hope you guys were able to see how it is that the Hawthorne energy operates and why it's so important for us personally as divine feminines to heal our mother wound in order to be able to truly authentically step in and operate out of our goddess energy. Oh, that's what I was saying. The goddess energy is very, very important because we bring a level of healing to the planet that is needed now. Not only that, we bring a level of healing to just like the feminine female because energies are not gender specific, but just how females, we heal the, the persona or we heal the stereotype of what females should be, how they should operate in the world, how they should operate in their relationships, things of that nature. So Divine Feminine, I want you to realize how important it is that you are 
to being able to heal the planet. Children, animals, and we ain't even going to get into the divine masculine. OMG, right? Divine feminine, you are such an important aspect to healing the divine masculine. And I know a lot of us have been through so much. Eh, we've been through so much whenever it comes to men and relationships. We probably find it hard to believe that we've made a difference right because a lot of times it's just like oh my god like this happened to me like he did it uh, 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 right but we don't realize that when we're operating in our true divine feminine energy we have the ability to heal the, the divine masculine you know what i'm saying they may not ever come back and say sorry or 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 acknowledge and they may you know i pray that they do you know i pray for all my feminines that have experienced some level of hurt um, from a man, I pray that if not every man, I pray that you will get the apology, the closure that you need in order to be able to heal properly. But I'm also going to encourage you that as standing and operating as a true divine feminine, you are healing the divine masculine collective, whether they ever acknowledge it or not. I want to encourage you and let you know that you are because no one comes across a divine feminine and stays the same they just don't right so yeah you guys that's how potent our energy is i want you guys to be encouraged i want you guys to be getting rest i want you to be tapping into your pleasure your creative side your sensual side your sexual side right and just because you're tapping into your sexuality that doesn't mean that you're having sex <laughs> that doesn't mean that you're necessarily having sex or being loose or or anything of that nature as divine feminines we know we have to be very um protective of our sexual energy who it is that we share it with however there are many ways to tap into your sexuality without being sexual and i'm not talking about i'm not <laughs> i'm not talking about anything that's not healthy right i'm not talking about masturbating all day or i ain't talking about that right there's a there's a i'm talking energies okay we're gonna we're gonna leave it like that we'll we can yeah we can tap into that at another time but i'm just talking about tapping into the energy and it doesn't mean i'm running around horny and i'm doing all of this and i'm doing all of that no it doesn't it doesn't it means having a healthy sacral chakra and your sacral chakra is tied into your sexual energy. So, yeah, y'all, that's a whole nother video. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, you guys. So, I just want to come to you guys today, talk to you about healing that mommy wound. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments section. If you have any questions, drop it in the comments section. If you haven't subscribed, you better make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell button so you know that every time I post up, I want you to share this video with your friends. Share it with your friends. Share it with your friends. And I want you to guys to remember, I love you. Peace.